All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning into the uh, road trip vlogs. If you did, I appreciate that. I know this is an electric electrical channel, but um, for some reason I felt like uploading that. So um, appreciate you guys checking that out. I uh, just wanted to give you guys some content while I was not home. Uh, so thank you for checking that out. If you did, no worries if you didn't. Um, so today I'm going over how to rough in a three-way or a four-way um, half hot receptacle or plug if you want to call it that um, so if you remember I got my three boxes here right now it's set up for a four-way um, a four-way setup so I got a three-way switch four-way switch and a three-way switch and right now you'd be thinking okay you're just gonna switch out the switch leg and then and then you'll be good to go and that's exactly what I was thinking because I've never done one of these before and then as soon as I was almost done with the video, I realized, where's my constant power? And that is um, exactly what you would find out that you'd be doing wrong as well if you thought just like I did. So um, if you remember, we got power coming in on this side and on, and then over here, I have my switch leg, my new switch leg that I just added going down to my half hot receptacle. And as you know, that needs constant power and the, the switch power or the, the red wire is going to be the switch leg. So right here, uh, if you follow the wire, it goes on the right side. So we got this is going to be our switch leg wire, which is going to go on the, um, which is going to go on the black screw right here. And then, um, as you know, we need our two travelers. If you want to have this switched from two different locations or more, um, that did not focus in the right spot. Um, so you're going to need your black wire and your red wire untouched on these two screws. So that leaves you missing the constant power going down to the box right here. Um, so if you're just taking your three wire over here, and this is only your two travelers, which are right here, your black and your red, then you're going to have no constant power. So you're either going to need, um, this is 14.3, but... Um, you're either going to need 14.4 between, um, depending on if you're doing a 12 um, gauge circuit or 14 gauge circuit, you're going to need a 14.4 or a 12.4 or 12 .4 between um, these boxes, between these um, three boxes. So this would be a 14.4 or a 12.4, and this would be a 14.4 or 12.4. Um, or um, you can do it the old school way because I don't have four conductor wire. I'm just going to add another... Um, uh, two wire between this box and this box for my constant power. So you can either do that or you can put it in this box, which would be, would be pointless. So you can go 14-2 um, between there and there, but I'm just going to go from start to finish. So in most cases, you would need a uh, power on this side and switch like on this side, and that is still the case, but in this circumstance, we need constant power going down to the half hot plug. Um, so we're gonna need another additional circuit. Um, so technically, we could probably go um, just from this box and send the power straight to this box. So we could um, totally ignore um, hitting this box because um, we technically um, don't need power at the switch. It's just going straight to this box anyways. Um, so let's make a decision here real quick. All right, so I decided to go with adding the two wire between this box and this box. So like I said, if you had a, uh, a four wire, it would be ideal, but probably no one's got that or no one wants to buy that. So I just added the uh, constant power from the power side on this two wire um, right here. And this is going through the wall. And then right into this box, as you can see, my only two wire in this box right here. So what I'm going to do is just tie the constant power, these two black wires together, wire nut them, and then I'm done. Um, so don't confuse those with your travelers. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do over here is show you how to uh, wire this side and then how to wire this side right here. So your travelers are still gonna be in the same spot as before. I didn't even take them off of the switch because um, I'm rewiring this obviously, but so I got my 14.3. Uh, so my two travelers are going on the switch right here on the traveler screws, on the gold screws. And then I'm just going to uh, pigtail my 
power wires right here because uh, I need the constant power coming in and the constant power going out to the uh, half hot on the bottom side. So I'm going to pigtail this out so this is always connected and then um, put the power on this screw right here and then lastly tie my grounds together and then pigtail that, put the one ground wire there and then I also forgot to mention tie all your neutrals together as always. Um, so that'll be pretty straightforward right there. So give me one second and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so I got all this wired up real quick. I'm just going to um, fold up my neutrals, put those back in the box, and then fold up my ground wires, put those back in the box. And then fold my power wires, put those back in the box. And then lastly, I'm going to tighten these down on my switch. This is just a three-way switch right here. So I'm going to screw down the ground. This thing would work. And then the power goes on the black screw for the common. So once you get that done, fold this up nicely into the box. Lost my screw again. It's always fun. Go ahead and screw that to the box. So that's good there. And then moving back over to the other side. All right, so on this side, I will show you how to do this in a second. Obviously this one single wire down here by itself is just gonna get tucked into the box for the um, half hot plug receptacle. So that's done right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie these three grounds together, pigtail that down to one, tie the three neutrals together, down, tie the three neutrals together, um, non-pigtail, and then I will come back when I just have the uh, black and red wires to show you. All right, so now that I got my grounds pigtailed, my neutrals tied together, now it is going to go to the more confusing part. So obviously you're gonna need to know which wire your, which one of your 14 threes or your three wire um, was from the travelers. You can obviously uh, find that or trace it back to uh, where it goes. Obviously this one is my three wire right here, goes right here, goes on the left side of this box. And so these are my two traveler wires. So those will go on my two gold screws right here. And then lastly, I just have to worry about my switch leg and the switch leg is going to be on the uh, three wire going down to this box on the red, um, which is gonna be my switch. So this is my switch leg. And then lastly, my two power wires, uh, the power wire coming in from the 12-2, which is the power coming in. And then the power going out down to the bottom half of the uh, plug is gonna be on the black. So these two are just gonna get tied together really quick. So I'll do that. I guess I'll probably just do everything now. I could make this into like 17 videos of, oh, how to roughen a three-way, how to roughen a four-way, how to install a three-way half hot, how to install four-way half hot. Inst instead, I'm just gonna put this all into one video, so hopefully this doesn't get confusing. Um, but if you have any questions, definitely ask it in the comments below. But as you see here, now we just have our three wire, or our four wires which is exactly how many wires we need to put on this switch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install this really quickly. Um, once again, got ground to ground. And then I'm going to need to curl um, all four of these to go onto my switch screws. So this is gonna be my 
Uh, switch leg, that's not the best loop. So this will be my switch leg, and these will be my two travelers. And I said before, you can twist these together so you don't get these confused. If you're at the rough end stage, you can twist those together. If you're just um, installing it, then you can still twist them if you want to. So these are my two travelers. And I like I said before, I like to, I don't like both of my black travelers on the same side. So I like to put my red traveler above the common screw. Screw that on. Put the um, other black traveler, or, yeah, the other traveler that is black on the other gold screw. And then the switch leg for the half hot on the common screw, the black screw. So there you have that. Um, you probably could have tucked these wires in first before you started putting the switch in. Um, no big deal if you did not. So just push that back and then fold up your um, ground wire. Um, so this is ready to install. Obviously there is not really a top and bottom. Uh, at least the switch does not say that I can see at the moment. So um, it kind of does read like this though. Usually your um, ground is on top, but either way, um, if it says top, obviously put that on the top. I don't see one right now at the moment. Um, so I guess I'll just go with this. I'm trying to find my screw. Obviously I keep losing all these dang switch screws. I keep falling out of the ground. Is on the sense of the other switch is done the same way, so all my blacks are on the bottom right. So, there that is extremely crooked. So, there we have the switches right there my three way, four way, three way. Um, and then I will do a quick install time lapse of the half hot if you already know how to do that then I'm assuming you already know how to do this if you follow along the series, but you just got ground to ground, neutral to neutral, hot to the bottom hot and with the tab ripped off and then the switch leg or half hot wire, switched wire is gonna be on the top of the plug. Um, let me see if I can find, I don't, I guess I'll just take off one of the other plugs down here below so I don't have to rip off another tab in the middle. So give me one second and I will time lapse that for you right now. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in now. If everything is working correctly and not grounded out, it won't blow up. So it looks like so far so good. Um, so if you remember, um, this is the four-way setup, so if you did this in a three-way setup, it would be uh, very similar. It would just be a three-way switch and a three-way switch, but you'd still have to bring over the power, tie those together, send it down to the plug. Um, so let me go ahead and plug in my... As you can see, we have everything plugged in. You got the uh, half-hot plugged in right there. And then I will also plug in my electrical tester so you can see that the power is constantly on. As you can see, the light is off right now. Got the constant power here coming in from the black, following it on the black, tied together in this box on the black, sent down to this on the black. Um, and then we have our travelers um, going from here to here to here. Um, so as you can see, now we have the light turned on, light turned off, light turned on. So I haven't really done much testing on three-way, four-ways, but um, it's still the same situation as before. Um, you can go on, off, on, and then on, off, on. Basically just test out all the scenarios. Off, on, on. So there you go. Everything works, that's how you do it. Like I said, if you have a four wire, it's gonna be easier just to run the four wire between this box, this box, and this box. Um, so that would be a four wire out, four wire in, four wire out, four wire in and then you can do a three wire down to here for the, for the plug. Um, but other than that, like I just said, 
Uh, just use the two wire to bring the power over from the incoming box to the out, um, the incoming box to the last switch box where you're using your switch leg. Um, so hopefully this helped you out. This was a very long video to make because like I said, I haven't done this before and um, I did some learning today as well with you guys. So hopefully um, this will save you some time so you don't have to do it the way that I did, but everything is working nice and fine. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Like I said, this video took a while to make. I probably haven't been in the garage here for a good hour, hour and a half. So uh, rewiring all this stuff and figuring this out. So anyways, if you enjoyed, please drop a like. I'd appreciate it. And uh, it would help the channel grow. Huge giveaway at 10,000. And also, um, just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. Um, got a sponsorship coming up. My first sponsorship. So um, about ready to sign that contract. So super excited about that. So thank you guys. That would not be possible without your guys' support. Um, if you want to check out anything else, check the first link in the link tree for the description. Um, and that will be all my tools, second YouTube channel, all that good stuff, um, social media and Twitch. Um, and then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.